Welcome back. SparkCon offers a platform for creative people to showcase their talents in 14 different categories, including theater, dance, visual art, literature, and so much more. With me now is Letissa Davis, organizer of Dance Spark, and welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. So, what made you decide to take on this job? Or did the Spark Boss pick you up? <laughs> Um, a little bit of both. Um, I joined Dance Spark around 2013 as an instructor and I became a co-chair in 2016. So it took a couple years to get me involved on the committee side of things. It was about the same time that the original committee was kind of transitioning out of their roles and I decided that I was ready to take on the role as being the chair. It was a huge undertaking and it looked super intimidating but I was ready for the challenge. Well. You've been a choreographer in, what, 10 years? Oh, yeah, or more at this point, yeah. So for folks who um, have never been, what can we expect to see? You should expect to see every type of dance movement you can possibly think of. Um, our goal is to have dance diversity, so not only your traditional you know, ballet, jazz, tap, hip hop, um, but we also want to have non-traditional dance styles and world dance styles. So Afro beats, belly dancing, um, break dancing and crump dance from hip hop styles, um, fan dancing, all kinds of different styles. So our goal is just to have everything there so you can experience everything that we have. Now are all ages represented in this? Yeah, we have a bunch of classes that we will allow up to age um, as minimum as 10, but oh. we do offer, sometimes we'll have children's classes where you can have a two or three year old come with their parents and learn a couple things. So, I should see you soon. I have one, a little one that just thinks she's the greatest. Oh, bring her, yes, please. Yeah, so what's it been like for you? I mean, you've been involved in this in a while with SparkCon, but now of course in a, in a kind of leadership position. Mm -hmm. Uh, what does this mean to those who, to the performers and then those who are in the community just come and hang out and watch? It means so much to all of our performers to have a place to do what you're passionate about. We've seen in the past, we've had studios come and perform and they say, you know, we don't have anywhere to perform because we don't have the money to compete in competition or to travel to events and showcases. And this is something that we can do and really expose our students. and. Um, have our craft shown to other people and we don't have that opportunity. So to be able to have that for these people is just, it's amazing. So your, your job now, is it just making sure they have the space or do you go beyond that? Do you work with these performers and make sure that technically they're, they're performing the dance as they should? Um, actually, it, it's kind of the gauntlet of everything. Like somebody knows absolutely nothing about <laughs> dance because that's, that's right. what it's Right, yeah. yeah, so um, it's a little bit of everything. So there's, you know, from just the, someone comes to me and says, hey, I want to teach a crump workshop. And I say, okay, and I find them a venue and I help them promote their event. Um, to someone says, hey, I want to do a flash mob, you know, to this song that's really popular right now, and I'll find them a space to dance, I'll help them choreograph if they really need some help with that. Um, it's the whole gauntlet of planning to execution, anything you need in between. So what's your vision overall for something like this? Kind of what I said before, just dance diversity. I want everyone who has a heart for dance, who has a talent for dance, a passion for dance, to be able to do whatever they want to do on our stage. That's pretty That's awesome. Vision. Are you recruiting now? How do people Oh gosh, involved? yes. So we are recruiting right now for performers for our flash mobs, if you want to dance with us on the street. Um, and we're still looking for some performers. So um, you can email us at dance at sparkcon.com. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, um, Instagram. You can find Dance Spark there. And you can sign up for anything you want. Now, how long did you say you were involved in SparkCon? I taught my first workshop in 2013. Okay, so you've been involved for quite a while. A little bit. Now, have any of the performers going on, gone on to something bigger and better? Have they fulfilled their dreams? I've had one of my uh, hip hop performers who's been teaching a workshop a couple years now, and she has now launched um, her own jewelry company based on some connection really? that she has. She's gotten um, huge choreography jobs with some of the artists in the area. Um, and she's been working on a movie production with the crew here. So just from those connections alone, she's gone on to even like other passions that she has outside of dance. I mean, that's pretty cool. But it's, I, yeah, it's awesome. From, it's so from awesome. your perspective, just seeing the, the performers have a platform, is, mm -hmm. is that basically it for you? And what do they take away from it? I know you talked about yes. how they feel about it, but do they, do they take something away from it, the opportunity to network and, and move on? They, they do, and you know, a lot of our workshops and performances, we try and have it to where spectators can ask questions and be involved as well. And I think 
having that interaction on top of performing, I think it's been the perfect catalyst for a lot of these people to really have their goals be reached. Well, I know there's a lot of people probably watching this morning who, you know, kind of frustrated, maybe a dancer wanted to do more. Oh, come, please. So well, why not? What are you waiting for, right? <laughs> Join us. We want you there. Awesome. Latissa, thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure meeting you. You too. And thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's show. If you have any questions or you'd like to know more, just visit our website at RaleighCW.com and myRDCTV.com. I'm Bill LeMay. Thank you for watching Community Matters. We'll see you next week.